I've been training a lot because tomorrow marks the start of the season. I've been doing everything I could to get up to this moment to be a professional player and now is my chance. I am at loan here in Bologna and I will take the most out of this opportunity. I will become one of the best players in the world. And you will remember my name, Hakim Astur. in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through hakeem for the next few fixtures i see us having a tough time against one or two of the clubs but we should pick up some points I expect Pescara to give us a tough time and we need a big effort from everybody. These are your upcoming targets. You need to get a 9.0 match rating in the next four games. You need to score three goals, give one assist, and maintain a goal to shot conversion percentage of a 40%. If you can do that, that would be amazing and it would secure your spot in the starting 11 but i have also chosen you for today's game against piscara they are a very tough team but let's see how you do welcome to ea sports live coverage of the italian serie b today it's piscara against bologna without further ado we're heading straight for piscara in uh, this game, we've dipped into the second tier of Italian football, Serie B, and we've got this game. I'm Martin Tyler, incidentally, and Alan Smith is the other voice you're about to hear. Alan. Delighted to be here. The away team line up. Looking forward to this one. And you look at this home side, and there's no reason why they can't get promoted. And I think they should. That should be the least of their ambitions. They should be up the top with the players that they've got and coming up against a side here that has been relegated and uh, it was really disappointing campaign for them last season so coming into this division you would expect them still to be at the top if they can only just regroup and, and get going again so we start with the kickoff and i must say both of us up here are really looking forward to this match and with that, we get into the game. Hakeem Astur is on the ball. Beautiful dribbling. He passes it off. Beautiful pass. There's the play. And Diego Perez scores to make it 1-0. That assist does not go to Hakeem Astur. But there he is celebrating. It is 1-0. What a goal. Beautiful pass from Hakeem Astur. Totally rips the defense. And Diego Perez scores. And Hakeem Astur does not stop there. He was involved so much in today's game. Look at the pace on the wing. Beautiful passing. But the passes weren't coming back to Hakeem Astur. Hakeem Astur played very well. The defense from Bologna was great. And there wasn't much for the goalkeeper to do. But Hakeem Astur still came back in defense. Came back, took balls away. And that is what a great player does. He doesn't just attack, he comes back, he wins balls, he goes up forward, gives great passes. Look at this great dribbling. He just gets past the defender like nothing. He keeps going, the pace is immense. He tries to cut in, but the defender did a great job in getting the way. Hakeem Astur once again on the left wing. He likes playing around there, but they are marking the hell out of him. He passes it back. Beautiful passing from Bologna, getting some tiki taka and some possession back in play. Beautiful ball to Hakeem Mastur, but it just is a little too high for Mastur. He's barely 5'9", so they need to give some precise passes. There's a good fake shot from Hakeem Mastur. He keeps going. Does he shoot it? No, he does not. They get in the way. He gets the ball back. There's a shot, and it goes straight to the goalkeeper. But Hakeem Mastur is knocking on the door. He wants to score. Oh, my God. Piscar on the wing. They center it in. The shot is there, and it just goes over the bar. And with that... The ref blows a whistle and we go into the second half. Bologna's winning 1-0. Hakim Astur is giving a great performance, but we want him to score. He needs to score three goals and give off an assist in the next couple of games. But here's Hakim Astur once again. Beautiful dribbling. He passes it off. They pass it back. He keeps the ball. He keeps dribbling. He keeps dribbling the ball. He gets past the defender like nothing. A fake shot. He goes forward. He shoots it and it hits off the post. 
Hakeem Mastur is getting closer and closer, but is he going to score? We will see that later on, but they take the ball away, and the defenders are all over him. Hakeem Mastur does not have any breathing space. He is the reason that Bologna is winning right now, and Pescara do know that. But there we go on the wing. Beautiful pass from the fullback to Hakeem Mastur. He keeps going. The pace keep going. Hakeem, there's a shot, and he shot it right to the goalkeeper, Hakim Mastur, you have to score. There's a center straight to Hakim Mastur and the ball just goes over. You gotta be kidding me. But Hakim Mastur does get plus one in dribbling, plus one in acceleration, and he's getting much better. Plus two in reactions. And Hakim Mastur, although he did not score any goals, he did get a 6.0 match rating that is very very bad and in my opinion I believe that Hakim Mastur deserved a better match rating because the match rating system in FIFA sucks dick yes you heard me right it sucks dick Hakim Mastur was so involved in the game versus Pescara he had so many shots he had two that were on target he had great passes great dribbling and he barely lost the ball but he got a 6.0 match rating and the transfer deadline day was among us and yes, Hakim Mastur knew that he was going to stay in Bologna for the season and the next season he was going to go to AC Milan. But Arsenal did make a huge signing. They paid 30 plus million for Edin Dzeko. And it does look like Arsene Wenger is strengthening his squad for the next season. But after that win versus Pescara in the league, Bologna is in 5th place with 3 points. And they are in fifth place because of goal difference. So we need to start scoring more goals. And Hakim Mastur really needs to start showing up uh, in these next couple of games. But he wasn't involved in the next game. And Bologna are winning 1-0 at the moment. And the reason that the manager did not put him in is because the game was in midweek. And Hakim Mastur played the full 90 minutes for the first game of the first season. But we got up 2-0. And then we concede a goal. And they make it 2-1. But we do come out of here, the full 90 minutes are up, and we get the win. We went 2-1 versus Perugia, and the 2-1 lead was enough for us to get the three points. So it does look like Bologna did play very well uh, without Hakim Mastur. But in the next game, which was going to be the second game for Hakim Mastur, was going to be an away game once again, and Hakim Mastur really needs to score more goals. So let's see what happened during that game. Croton was going to be the next opponent for Hakim Mastur. Croton versus Bologna, another away game. And Hakim Mastur was very involved in today's game once again. And he wanted to do better than he did in the first game. But he does cut in a beautiful cut here. But Hakim Mastur needs to learn to pass the ball. He just wants to score so many goals and he gets greedy. But we do give off a great pass here. Hakim Mastur and... Jesus Christ, what kind of shot was that? Hakim Mastur with a key pass there, but they couldn't score the goal. And Croton had a bunch of possession, and they just kept the ball, but we were the team that had all these shots, and Hakim Mastur was doing pretty well in the first half. But what happened in the first half was nothing compared to what happened in the second half. The manager decides to make some changes, and he puts in a new player into the game, and Hakim Mastur was going to go ham in the second half he's on the wing he cuts in beautiful job waiting he goes for the shot but Hakim Mastur needs to get his shots on target once again off the corner Hakim Mastur with the scissors he passes it off but they just mess up and Hakim Mastur no matter how much he tries he tries his best to dribble but he has to work on his physical because since he's really small he just gets bullied off the ball and when he does give great passes and he actually does something good for the team his teammates decide to pass it off to the side instead of going for a shot and trying to pass the ball forward to get a goal in and, and Hakim Mastur got tired of that crap he took the ball himself he stole it away he goes forward does he score his goal no he does not Hakim Mastur with another good opportunity but he just can't score the goal a good corner kick here it gets taken out by the defenders Hakim Mastur is on it can he shoot it in no he cannot it hits off the defenders and the goalie has a ball and that is how the game ends nil nil and Hakim Mastur gets a match rating 
of a 6.8 which is much better than what he got in the first game he got a 6.0 and now he got a 6.8 so he's getting much better he had two key passes his shooting was great his passing was great his movements everything was good but he needs to start scoring more goals and this is how we were looking in the league table after that drop Bologna is in fourth place with seven points and the top four are all tied for first place with seven points they have the same amount of points but the goal difference is a little different and Hakim Masur has one more game to prove what he can do if he doesn't the manager will get pissed off so much at him but if you guys want to keep seeing these career mode episodes just slap that like leave a comment down below and I'll keep taking out these my player career modes. but they do take a long time to make so that's why they come out three times a week but hopefully you guys did enjoy it I'm Quinkin and I'll see you guys next time if you guys made it to the end of this video, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Quinkin. If you want to ask me some questions, go ahead and follow me and I will reply to you as fast as possible. Also, if you're new, subscribe. I take out quality few 15 content and if you missed the previous video, I will leave an annotation to that on the screen. Go ahead and do that right now.